Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show. Wake up to love your call to action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. We've got two hours of broadcast today. It's Friday. Yay. Uh, Friday, we've got shows from 12 to 1 and then from 1 to 2. And this is one of my favorite series now with these amazing women that I'm bringing on for exemplar women that are going to be sharing stories of hope. And, you know, when we share stories of hope, it comes down to many of us have, have, you know, had many challenges in our lives that we've had to overcome and we've turned those challenges into victories. And so there's a lot of people out there right now that are finding themselves challenged. And so if you're finding yourself here and there's struggles and failures that you're, um, you know, feeling within your life now also now more than ever, we need to, you know, listen and be inspired by the stories of hope more than ever before. And the stories that you tell your children and the stories that you tell your grandchildren, your neighbors, and your customers, your clients, of how your life experience, how much that matters. And telling stories brings people together. That's how we connect. And in this episode today, our desire is to inspire the listener that all life experiences, the struggles, the failures, the pains of our past have victories, and many times happy endings. And so no matter what you're facing in your life, sharing your stories will help others heal. It'll inspire us to keep going and find creative ways to make life living a joyous story to tell with many chapters of triumph. So I know that what you're going to hear today Something is going to be like exactly what you needed to hear. So let me introduce you to my first guest. So my first guest, her name is Jen Stoney, and she's known as the irresistible, irresistible love coach. And so it's going to be wonderful to hear her story. And she definitely was brought to her knees in her journey, and I'm sure she's going to be talking to us about that. But she's known in her community and in the world and all the women and people that she helps as a trailblazer of love. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, it's wonderful to have you. Thank you so much for saying yes and for doing what it is that you do out in the world. My absolute pleasure. I feel honored every day to be able to do it. It's a blessing. Yes. So what made you a trailblazer? Something um, something happened in your life, right? Yeah. You, you were going along the path and everything was going fine. And then all of a sudden, the soul started knocking. Yeah. What really brought me to my knees the first time. So this was a thing is, you know, we often have those layers that we peel back, right? And so every time something happened, it would kind of peel back another layer, but there was still that guck. There was still something. And really what brought me to my knees the first time was um, alcoholism, right? So I often escaped and numbed myself, either with my first drug of choice, which was men, and my second drug of choice, which was alcohol. And I was running on a wild self-destruction. I um, attempted suicide. I was bulimic for a year and a half. And I was arrested three times. And um, the third time's a charm. So that is what kind of opened up the doors. I still drank after that. And then I met a boy and who is now my husband. And that's really what brought me to my breaking point and helped me get help there. But 
I still had my boyfriend. So I still have one of my drugs of choice, right? So I was getting sober, but I was still numbing myself. And um, if anybody in the recovery community community will tell you when you get sober, when you have a new relationship in sobriety, it can hinder you in ways. Um, and that's what it did for me. It allowed me to not fully peel away and let go of things that no longer serve me. So the universe blessed me. The beautiful opportunity. We had a wonderful relationship. And then we got engaged. Things got messy. And then we got married. And um, he had an affair with a woman who I thought was a really good friend of mine. I had just thrown her a party, a divorce party. And um, her husband stood up in our wedding. And um, the affair is what changed. It's the one thing that changed everything in my life. And it set me on this journey of self-discovery and really taught me how to fully love myself, my partner, and learn how to take my walls down and heal my wounds. And so that is what I'm here on this earth to teach other women to do. Wow. I mean, when you said, I mean, those were big ones, you know, a lot of times, you know, the alcoholism, the drug of choice. I mean, thank you for being so honest and so authentic with, with that, because, you know, all of us uh, have, you know, have, have those kinds of struggles where we're looking at numbing something from our past right so that's that's a big one right there whether it's like you said men or it's alcohol or you know it's gambling or it's porn pornography or who knows what it is you know it's like um that's that's a big one and then uh the ultimate one and that's the betrayal of uh, a marriage partner, someone that you really, really love and that you make yourself vulnerable to, to especially in your healing journey mm-hmm. that you were healing. And now you discovered that there was an affair and that there was cheating. And it also happened to be with your friend. I can't even imagine what yeah. must have happened the day when you found this out. It, it changed everything, but you know, it's really beautiful and something I forgot to say too. I was raped the first time I had sex and then I was raped again two years later. So really what this brought up for me was a lot of distrust with men, but also the day that I found out that I found the text in his phone totally by accident. I, he left his phone at home for work and it was me trying to help him for work. So it was like a complete, I wasn't snooping, you know? And, um, That day was um, December 5th, 2011, and the most beautiful thing happened three years later. Um, December 5th, was it 2014, I believe? I'm trying to think here. Um, I was given the gift, and I was trying to push it the day before, but the universe put every roadblock up, and when it happened, I was like, oh, my gosh. It changed the date. I was able to tell my husband that we were pregnant, with my first son and it's actually his fifth birthday tomorrow. So it's just, it's so amazing. It's like when I was telling him we're pregnant and I gave him this cute little gift with these little Detroit Tigers booties and this little train book. And, um, and as I was telling him, I was like, Oh my gosh, it's December 5th. And you know, when we fully heal those dates, we allow in even more support and healing to come. And I had forgot about it. And so there it was once again, Wow, that's so huge. So you healed both of your addictions, your addictions to men and your uh, alcohol addiction, and you healed the core wounds, and then you ended up having two children because you have two now, right? We do, and we actually reconciled our marriage three weeks before we finalized divorce. So we actually hired attorneys. We were separated for two years. We um, started dividing assets. We... um, spent a ton of money in attorneys. We went to court and three weeks before he called me and he said, what am I going to have to do to, to make this work? I want to be with you. And I had been doing a ton of praying and I had worked with, I spent a ton of money on coaches to heal my wounds at this point. So I knew the answer was easy for me. Right. So, um, within minutes I received a termination of divorce paper and, um, here we are today. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> it's so huge to overcome this. It's so huge what you've overcome. And then what about your best friend or your friend? Is she still in the picture? No, she is not. I, you know, it's really crazy. I don't know where she's living right now. She moved. Um, and 
I am actually very grateful for her because she changed my life in a beautiful way and I have no hard feelings towards her at all. So That's wonderful. It's great to hear you tell this story the way, and it sounds like you and your husband fought for what you truly wanted. And that was really, uh, you know, each other and you fought for your marriage. I mean, you know, that, that you were going to go ahead with the divorce and then you both, you know, re-examined everything, re-examined your love and then really having to, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? What do I need to do? And you did it. So now you're actually helping people, right? Women uh, that are in, in these kinds of situations uh, experience, um, who knows, love the second time around, right? And yeah. is that right? It is, it is. And I love it because being over 12 years sober, it's beautiful to have gone through that experience with no numbing mechanisms. I was celibate for one year during it. And it's just so beautiful to help women truly uncover and let go all of this gunk so they can let in all of this juicy, radiant beautifulness. Well, it definitely shows that you have healed because you're a beautiful, gorgeous, radiant, gorgeous beauty. So it's wonderful to see that you're out there inspiring others to be you know, their radiant self. So thank you for that. How can people get in contact with you? Let's just say whoever listened to it today and was like, yeah, that's exactly what I needed to hear. How can they find you and learn more about what they can do to get in contact with you? Yes, yes. Um, The best way is to find me on Facebook and to join my free Facebook group called Irresistible You. Um, I also am a co-author and am a number one international best-selling author of The One Thing That Changed Everything. If you buy the Kindle version, 100% of the proceeds go to stopping human trafficking. So it's a really beautiful, beautiful book to be a part of, and it's filled with female um, inspirational stories. And so if you don't connect with mine, there's 20 of us in that book and it's really wonderful um and right now i just launched um my program the sexy goddess inner circle and so if anybody wants to hear more about that they can message me on facebook or on instagram at jen stoney awesome thank you so much for coming in and being here today inspiring us and many blessings to you on your journey and all those that you're influencing thanks jen stoney and we'll talk to you soon We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. What would you do with the power of community? How do you create your own rituals? Tune in to Living Your Gifts with me, Susan Huff, Ancient Applications for Modern Times, the second Wednesday of each month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Our lives begin with the stories we are told and the stories we tell ourselves. Storytelling is the key. To learn more about me, visit livingyourgifts.com. That's livingyourgifts.com. Are you meeting your sales goals? Or maybe your business plan could use a dose of the divine. Tune in to Divinely Driven Results with faith-based business coach Elise Smith on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Coach Elise Smith helps listeners get unstuck from their business plateau and become empowered through divine guidance. Build up belief in yourself and your dreams and learn business strategies that work for you for real lasting results. Learn more by visiting www.DivinelyDrivenResults.com. Are you done being afraid to jump into the life that's waiting for you? Are you ready for a real shift? I invite you to tune in every Tuesday with me, Tracy L, on the Tracy L. Clark Show, where we will teach you how to live your extraordinary life. At 8 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio, where I will provide the tools and the steps needed to help you transcend perceived limitations and move forward with an extraordinary life. For more information, visit me at TracyLClark.com. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. 
The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens with Colette Marie Steffen is excited to welcome Karen Benton as a monthly guest host. Tune in on the third Wednesday of each month at 8 a.m. Pacific Time to regain confidence and trust in your capacity to create change in your life, your health, your family, and your well-being. Karen Benton is a mother, nurse practitioner, certified body talk practitioner, Franklin Method instructor, and owner of Limitless Living, LLC. For more information about Karen, visit karenbenton.com. We remember a time when you could simply form a thought and it would manifest. The harmony was forgotten, but it is returning now. The power of inspiration and awakening radio with Juliet Griffin on TransformationTalkRadio.com each second and fourth Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific will take you on adventures through the heart and spirit exploring who we once were. This intuitive healer studied under the guidance of wolves, learning from their wisdom to master a higher frequency for a new state of mind. Visit OneTrueSelf.com. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to introduce you to our next guest, Diane McClay, founder of Choice and Courage Company. And she's here to inspire us. She's ready to go because during break we were talking, she was talking about how excited she is and also that she loves where she's living. And she, maybe you can touch a little bit on that. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Cornelia. It's uh, my pleasure to be here. I'm in Washington State, and it is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm here to tell your listeners I am living the life that I want to live, and I am living the life I love, and I have a few tips on how to help some folks get to where they want to be if they're feeling a little stuck. Good, good. And so you help midlife women, right? That's your specialty, your niche. You help midlife women uh, you know, stand in their purpose, find their purpose, and live from their purpose. Is that right? Exactly. And it, and it really starts with identifying if you're, if you're happy with where you are and it could be a job, it could be a relationship. Um, but it really starts with awareness. You can't change. That's point number one. You can't change anything in your life until you have awareness. And from my own personal experience with a career shift uh, right after I turned 50, um, I thought I had the dream career that was going to last me until retirement. Um, I spent 17 years with a particular agency Uh, Some things happened, some things changed, and I made a choice to actually leave. Um, And it doesn't really matter the circumstances, what happened, but what really matters is that was the pivotal moment for me where I realized I started empowering myself to step into what I wanted to do and what I wanted to live and do it for me. Yeah, so and pretty much you already said one of the key words, and that was choice. Exactly. Well, uh, I don't know if your listeners can see it on the back of my wall here, but I have two uh, pieces of cedar that I found out in the woods and uh, nature is really important to me. But once I found them, I would burn the words choice and courage on the wall. And what I realize is that courage does not show up for us on, you know, on a sunny day when we're sitting on the park bench eating ice cream and everything is fine. Courage shows up when the difficult shows up. Courage and fear show up at the same time. And it's our job to make sure that we leverage both of those and push ourselves into the place that we want to be and that we're called to be. Yes. I mean, and courage is absolutely something that we need now more than ever to really step into our purpose and also have the courage to be, you know, this in this next phase of our lives, like you said, I, I talk to a lot of midlife women who, you know, our audience is, Um, predominantly women, 85% are women. And so a lot of women are finding themselves right now in this place. And they're not, they're they're not sure which way to, you know, move forward. And that's why you're helping people find their purpose and having the courage to step into it because it requires the courage and even ambition, you know, ambition, courage, it's, you know, and making the choice, right? Right. Right, exactly. And let me give a quick example. So when I was a kid, I wanted to be a park ranger at first grade. I knew that that's what I wanted to be. I knew I was going to live in the in the West. I was going to be a park ranger. Um, I said I'd drive a, a Lamborghini when I was, you know, 18, but that never happened. But so I spent half my life in pursuit of that dream that made my heart happy. Uh, when I turned, shortly after I turned 50, 
the agency I was working for. We had some disagreements about uh, the direction that I was going, the direction I, they were going. Um, I made some mistakes as a manager. And um, I kind of learned through the hard way that not everybody sees the world the way I see it. And um, they offered me a position that was six hours away from my family and away from my home and where I live in the Columbia Gorge. And I realized in that moment that for my life to change and for it to be the way I wanted it to be, I had to make the choice. I could not rely on the agency to look out for my best interests. I had to rely on myself. And that's when I actually opted to resign. And it was the most difficult decision I've ever made. And at the same time, I will tell you that it was the most energizing decision. And without having the events come into my life the way they have, I would not be here uh, with you today, working on my own business, working from home and living the life I want to live. So I say to your listeners that it, it takes courage, but courage doesn't have to be big, gigantic changes like changing careers. Sometimes it, it's starting something small and doing something completely out of the ordinary, uh, like going to a restaurant and letting the waiter or waitress pick your meal without you knowing what it's going to be. That takes courage. So little pieces of courage can help us practice to get to those really big life-altering decisions that eventually come our way. That's a great practice. I love that idea, to have doing that. Because sometimes, you know, I don't want to have to pick. I'll have my friends pick. But that's exactly. a good idea to uh, to do that. What are you holding in your hand? I see you've got something there. that you I'm, actually, I'm, I'm holding a, a book. I was a contributing author to Dreaming Big, Being Bold. Yeah. Uh, and one of the things that I like to share with your, your listeners yeah. is kind of the ending paragraph is that, when you don't have a plan of where you want to go next, you may feel vulnerable, but you will find a tremendous amount of strength, resilience, and freedom and movement in that space. The challenge is finding that special place where loss and hope intersect. That is where you need to be. Coping with change is not a destination. It's not a journey. It's an evolution. And that's what I invite your listeners to do is that through awareness, by creating choices for ourselves, by taking deliberate action, by incorporating movement and in my case, nature, movement in nature, and then giving yourself grace and resilience as you move through different things. Those are the five points I would share with your listeners, uh, regardless of whether it's, you know, picking a different restaurant or changing your career or feeling like you want to stand up for yourself and, and live a little bit more meaningful and, and uh, purpose filled life. How does uh, a session with you look like, you know, like can people contact you and, uh, maybe get a free consultation. And, Absolutely. And, I mean, how does all that work? Like, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so I have a website, dianemcclay.com, and thank you for asking. Uh, there's a little bit more information about me. Um, I'm moving some things around on it right now. There'll be an opportunity to schedule a free uh, Courageous Choice, um, basically a discovery call. And we'll look in that call, we'll look at what is the challenge that you face right now? What are some ways we could look through it? And then uh, we can determine whether a group coaching package or whether an individual package is something that's better for people. Uh, but the bottom line is, is that uh, I challenge people to look at their perspectives and to think, uh, really, I color outside the lines and I color outside the box a lot, uh, which in some worlds gets me into trouble. And in other worlds, it, especially with coaching, it opens up a lot of opportunities. So we will work to collaboratively together to challenge some of the ways you've been thinking and to try to open up some new ways and some new options. And I have some uh, I have some worksheets that I could share with your listeners about, if, especially if they're trying to make some extra money or if they're trying to transition between uh, careers. I have some questions that might help them uh, move through that a little bit more confidently. That's great. And I know like a lot of people right now, you know, they're finding themselves at a fork in the road and not, not sure in what, what direction to go. That's why having a support, having mentor, having a mentor, having a coach is so powerful at these times. And um, since you've already gone through it, you know, just even you saying the word purpose is such a, you know, profound word in its in itself because really, you know, a lot of people are going through life and they, they wonder what their purpose is. And so just even that, you know, what if in the second half of your life, you're actually aligned with your purpose and, and living your real true life now? Exactly. And I can't tell you how empowering it is. You know, people think purpose is really big and ginormous and, and it's a very long process. And the origin of purpose is Latin. It's propose to propose. And I did an interview with somebody where we talked about, especially as women, what if our purpose was that we just took little proposals to ourselves? 
to oh. challenge us to move forward. What if, I mean, think about when people get married, like the proposal is a big experience, right? But what if as women, as midlife women that are, that are trying to have more purpose, what if we made every day one little tiny propose, proposal to ourselves to change something, to grow, to strengthen, to have some courage, to do something differently, and to give ourselves grace and resilience while we're doing it, and to let go of some of the things that hold us back? What if, what if we were to do that as, as a whole? Yeah. What if the, I mean, what if we all did that? I mean, can you imagine? That's absolutely, I love that. I Isn't that love, amazing? That's an amazing practice. You know, I lead a women's uh, group on Saturday mornings. I'm actually going to bring this tip uh, with me to tomorrow's uh, meeting because it's, it's wonderful. Little proposals, you know, little proposals. Every single day we propose uh, little proposals to ourselves. To ourselves. And then we get the support of our uh, women around us and our professionals around us. And we get the, we get the support to continue that accountability with those little small proposals to ourselves. You've got some great ideas. I like what you're talking about and definitely want the audience. You guys, now is the time to have that courage and just put everything aside and make that call and really get on the right trajectory in your life. And really now is the time. Diane, uh, um, tell us again the name of your website. Uh, it's dianemcclay.com. And there will be a link there for people to get to my calendar to schedule that free courageous, uh, courage discovery call. And then if they want to hook, set up individual sessions, they can link from there. Great. And then are you on social media as well? I am uh, Coach with Diane on Twitter and also Instagram. Uh, so send me an email. I'm still kind of old school. Uh, and my phone number is on the website. People can give me a call too. Oh, good. That's easy. Easy breezy. That's so, you know, uh, that's so the way to do it now, because it's really a way to connect with people, you know, bringing the old school back in for heaven's right. sake. You know, let's bring Right, exactly. I love that idea. So thank you so much for coming in today and for giving us all these great tips. I wish you so many blessings. And then maybe one day you'll come back and inspire us again. I would absolutely love to. Thank you, Cornelia. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. You too. Take good care. We're going to go to break and we'll be right back. Are you ready to accelerate your wealth and success? Join Ahana and Daniel from Rise and Be Rich with Cornelia Stephanie on the Millionaire Imprint for Women on Transformation Talk Radio every third Friday, 1 p.m. PST. Step out of lack and into your power of creation. Build and grow your wealth. Create prosperous businesses that make a difference. Visit ahanalara.com forward slash R B R show. Do you know how powerful your thoughts and beliefs are in determining your experience of your life? Is it really true that simply by changing some of the words you use in your day-to-day language that you can change your life? I'm Megan Edge. Join me on Playing on the Edge Radical Change with Ease with my co-host Dr. Pat on Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to seeing you there. To find out more about Megan Edge, visit her website at meganedge.ca. Yeah, yippee skippy to that, baby. We're not done yet. Some of us are out here to educate and inspire. This year, 2020, is the year we got to show me the money in the cash flow. I'm Dr. Pat. This is the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. Visit the thedrpatshow.com. For stimulating conversation and keys that will change your life, Tune in to Dynamic Destiny with Coach Pete every first and third Wednesday at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Join Pete to get clarity for your calling and practical wisdom for results. For more about Coach Pete, visit PeteCoaching.com. That's P-E-T-E Coaching.com. Raising the vibrations through stimulating conversations while exploring the mysteries of Atlantis and Lemuria on Tales from the Mer World Radio with me, Amira Beth. Join us every second and fourth Thursday 
at 1 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Be ready to feel empowered and an active part of the changing earth. For more information about me, visit Amerabeth.com. We remember a time when you could simply form a thought and it would manifest. The harmony was forgotten, but it is returning now. The Power of Inspiration and Awakening Radio with Julia Griffin on TransformationTalkRadio.com each second and fourth Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific. We'll take you on adventures through the heart and spirit exploring who we once were. This intuitive healer studied under the guidance of wolves, learning from their wisdom to master a higher frequency for a new state of mind. Visit OneTrueSelf.com. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I was just telling the producer, I said, I love this show. I love this show. (laughs) I love the show. It's amazing when the host of the show loves the show. I love it. I love it because I'm, I'm being so inspired by these incredible women. My next guest, Christine Morse, she's here to talk to us about the queen's alignment. And we were talking about, we should be wearing our crowns. And um, so we, we actually have our crowns on. It's, it, it, they're just invisible at the moment. But welcome to the show, Christine. Hello. Thank you so much for inviting me on. I have greatly. Thank you. So, you know, you are the owner and CEO of Queen's Alignment. And your work is about empowerment, transformation. You're a business coach. You're an intuitive channeler. Yes. And so much more, yeah. so many more things that you do. So what is, how did you talk to us about the Queen's Alignment, but also talk to us about uh, the the darkness before she stepped into the Queen? So, yeah, let me tell you. Um, so right now, yes, I am the owner of Queens of Alignment. It's an empowerment um basically empowering and transforming women in business. Um, I just recently began that journey um, way back. And I'll tell you where I got started. I, you know, you go through life normally, right? I was married. I got married again to my spectacular husband now. Um, But in the midst of all of that, ended up having his ex-wife who unfortunately put both of us through so much of a traumatic experience with trying to gain custody of our boys. Um, so I have, I have three children total. One is my biological daughter, Savannah, and then my two stepsons, um, which I say are mine because I bought them <laughs> during the court process. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but it was, it was such a traumatic experience to go through the court process and to, and to really be, constantly thought of like you were just this horrible, horrible human being. I love myself. My husband loves me. The kids loved me. Like, you know what I mean? Like it just made zero sense that that the biological mom would treat me, the stepmom in such a horrible, horrible fashion, but neither here nor there. It happens on a regular daily basis. And during that time, I also had two miscarriages. Oh, so I even had the point at which the the biological mother like was like yelling at me and telling me, I'm glad you had a miscarriage type of thing, you know, and it talk about breaking your heart, you know, just so devastating. And so I never realized how traumatic it really was um, until you're, you're obviously on the other side and you're like, wow, you, you know, like it, it really affects me to this day. Like my oldest is 22 and my middle, my middle son is 17. So, I mean, I've had them for 13 years and I'm, I'm still affected, you know, it's really, it's really disheartening when it comes to that sort of a um, very stressful, traumatic relationship experience, you know, and it's very hard to um, overcome. But during that entire time, it really led me to learn how to meditate and go within myself and try and really bring myself up, you know, to try and breathe and to, you know, to get past all the trauma. And, and also during that time, while I was learning to meditate and whatnot, I learned Reiki. 
and Reiki really, really, really transformed my life. Like I, I have a Reiki business as well. Um, so I have clients that come in physically, you know, with COVID now we're kind of slowed down, but you know, I do the online or the online teaching as well. But when I learned Reiki, that was when I really realized that there was so much more than us, you know, and there's so much more um, to our bodies and so much, so many different ways to overcome trauma. Um, and so I really used that to, to start, um, you know, my journey here and, Beyond that, then a few years later, I got into self-development. That is a whole nother bag of tricks. <laughs> but you know what? Such a fabulous, fabulous industry. And from there was where I was like, you know what? I can do this. I can absolutely coach women. Um, I'm a leader in my nine to five job, which I'm a, a lieutenant in the police department, um, a local police department here in Massachusetts. Um, so I'm a leader there. And, you know, in that industry, that's all you do is coach and you guide, right, on a regular basis, whether it's your, your um, coworkers or whether it's people that you deal with on a daily basis. And so I'm like, this is the perfect fit for me. So born was Queens of Alignment. So that's how I got there. And, and that's what I'm doing is I am focusing on women and, um, you know, trying to assist them in their transitions and empower them and get them out there to do what they want to do. Yeah, I love that. I mean, you've had to deal with, like you said, so much trauma. You had to deal yeah. with loss, lots of loss. The two miscarriages, huge. Mm-hmm. At, at all the while, you were being degraded um, and being devalued, and basically, you know, stepped on. Um, like you're, you're, you're having to defend yourself for right. being, uh, you know, a mother, a wife, and right. you know, uh, so I, I totally, I could feel all of what you were saying, and I know that now, you know, because it's like, almost like, you know, now you're, you know, Queen's Alignment was born, and now you help other women become the queens that they were meant to be, right, and, yes. right, yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, and then it was basically, you had to like experience the opposite of what a queen is, you know, the, the, right. what that means. And, how, you know, you use that experience that you were in to use the higher road, the yeah. wisdom, the wisdom and the love. And I, I love Reiki too. And it's a wonderful healing Amazing. reality, right? Yeah. So it's, it's wonderful that you have, you know, turned your life you know, in, from that was all that trauma into a victorious, you're one of those ones that has a happy ending. Thank goodness. And, and there's so many women that don't. Um, originally, I had, when I was really in it, I was writing a blog. Um, and you don't realize there are so many women that are in that same area. And, and half of them want to live in the negativity and the other half want out, you know, to, to grow and be the light, you know, but it's a, it's a position to be in. Yeah. Very tough. Now. So you have now turned, so now you're an entrepreneur in your own business, Queens alignment, right? You've got that. Tell us about what you're doing at the police department. So I'm a lieutenant with the police department. Um, I actually work the midnight shift. So I've been off for the past week. They actually have me freshly slept today. <laughs> well, we look so good. Oh my God. You really Thank you. Good. Yeah. Great. It's a, it's a difficult shift. <laughs> yeah. And how are things at the police department these days? It's good. You know, our, our police department is a smaller police department and they really, our, our community that we work with, we all work together and it just is a fabulous community. Like we have, have we felt some of the effects of what's going on throughout the, throughout um, America and nationwide really? Yes. You know, but overall we've done a very good job and I think our citizens realize that as well. So we've been doing good. Yeah. So tell us again where that where where your um, community is, just to shine the light for the audience. It's in Randolph, Massachusetts. There you go. So there's a wonderful community over there that feels good, a good working environment where people are loving each other, where people are supporting each other. Yeah. So let's you know remember that there's also good things going on out there. There are. Sometimes you know it it depends on where we're focusing our energy. And, you know, what it really does, we're listening to, right? 
Yeah. Let's tell the audience how they can find out more about you, uh, how they can get in contact with you, and uh, yeah, let us know about your social media. So um, there's obviously my personal profile, which is Christine Morse on Facebook, and then I've got um, Queens of Alignment. That's our group that we have on Facebook, and it is um, actually t- titled Queens of Alignment, Empowerment, Enlightenment, and or Empowering, Enlightening, excuse me, Elevating and Enlightening Women in Business. Um, and you can find that right off of my personal profile as well. I have links there. And then, of course, over on Instagram at Queens of, um, Queens of Alignment. Okay, and that's Christine Morse, M-O-R-S-E. Yep. Very easy. Yes, ma'am. Because when people are driving and they're listening to the podcast, you know, we want to have that very easy in their... Um, sure. Uh, for them to access it. So what's the call to action? What do you want people to do? What do you want to leave people with before we uh, say goodbye? Well, you know, what I really want to leave people with is that no matter where you are in your life, you know, whether it's the middle, the the, um, end, you know, you're you're low, you're high, you're, there's always a step that you can take to make yourself, you know, transform. You can, you can meditate, you can breathe, you can, speak to somebody else, having a coach and actually speaking to other women truly, truly, truly elevates you. And that's, that's what women need to do today is actually speak to each other and lift each other up and, and be there for each other. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Christine Morse. Thank you so much for the work that you're doing, for the work you're doing out there with your community. And I know you're raising a family, so it's wonderful to have you here as a guest. We'd love to have you come back in the future We send you so many blessings and we're going to go to break and we'll be right back. Thank Thank you so much. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. We have an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in weekly every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio as we, Jason and Patricia, discuss what's truly holding you back. We offer you the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time be living lighter. For more information about Living Lighter, visit www.livinglighter.org. Stuck in a roundabout of dysfunction? Learn how to speak your truth to power with host Dr. Kathy O'Bear. Create real change with smart tools and smart strategies. No frills, no fluff, just life-changing conversations to help get you where you want to be. Extend your reach and become an agent for real change with Kathy O'Bear. For more information on Kathy and her work, please visit drkathyobear.com. That's drkathyobear.com. Hi, this is Kimberly Carlson, and I would love for you to tune in to All In Healing Radio, where together we will begin to experience health, happiness, and harmony in all areas and aspects of life. Join us every first Tuesday of the month at 11 a.m. on TransformationTalkRadio.com. All In Healing will help you release layers of negative beliefs and energies for radiant health, deep joy, and greater abundance. Visit me at KimberlyCarlson.com. Are you ready to awaken to your divine and true potential? Tune into a Spirited Exchange Radio with me, Carrie Kadambi, every second and fourth Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. We discuss the evolution of the modern mind and how the power of awakening, healing, and connecting allows us to step into living a life of love in action. For more information about me, visit TheDivineGuidanceGift.com. Get your goddess groove on with me, Laura Hosford. Tune in every Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com where I offer you authentic channel messages of love, inspiration, and heart-healing grace. 
Get your goddess groove on. When the goddess speaks, everyone listens. For more information, visit laurahosford.com. That's laurahosford.com. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you're loving the show as much as me. I love visiting with these uh, incredible women sharing their stories of triumph with us today. So if you would like to be a guest, considered as a guest on the Cornelia Stephanie show, feel free to email me at radio at Cornelia and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have a discussion with you. If you have a story to share anything that, that, um, that you've overcome in your life that you want to share with, with the audience would be great. So my next guest is Stephanie Cox, and we were just talking during the break. Stephanie is an entrepreneur. She is in small business management and accounting. And uh, as a controller at RG Alliance Group, uh, she helps people through difficult times, and especially during this time right now in COVID. So, so many women that are listening to this, small business owners, because all of you that are entrepreneurs, that are small business owners, this is the time right now to really listen to this part. Because uh, Stephanie Cox and Associates, they've helped many, many uh, small businesses uh, receive the funding that they needed. They raised over $25 million and more for their clients in PPP um, during this difficult time. And the, the numbers are climbing. Welcome to the show, Stephanie. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it's great. And you're right in uh, Anacortes, and I'm in Laconer. So yes. we're practically neighbors. So thank you for being here. Tell us, take us right into it, because I know that many of our listeners, many of the people that are, you know, right now in transition, looking at becoming small business owners and, you know, or maybe is their business closing, they need help. What, what, what do you guys do? So we do um, bookkeeping up to CFO level work. We have about 57 staff. And that not only includes accountants, it also includes HR specialists, IT specialists, and marketing specialists. So we've started to branch out with that, Um, becoming more of a back office for a lot of small clients. And we've been in business a little over um, closer to uh, probably eight years. Um, My boss and I have actually been doing this for over 10 years. So uh, we also have... 100 plus clients right now. We manage over 1 billion in client revenue. And we've been involved in diligence on over 250 million in transactions. So now that COVID has happened, um, I'm happy to say that none of my clients have gone out of business through this. And that is because we have helped them with cash flow management, budgeting, uh, pivoting their services, whatever we needed to do, getting the funding, uh, sometimes just getting them loans. And I wanted to tell a story about a specific client that we have. Um, California's Center for the Arts, which is in Escondido in Southern California. Uh, they're a nonprofit of ours. And prior to COVID, they had um, like a 1500 seat concert hall, 400 seat theater, contemporary art museum, art and dance studios, a full service conference center and meeting and banquet rooms. And they run 52 free extensive education programs and community events throughout the year. And their their mission is to bring people together to discover, create and celebrate both the visual and performing arts. Well, once the government shutdown happened, they couldn't really do that anymore. So what we did is we were able to come up with an overall budget, take it down to the bare bones and see what they can do with the sources that they have. They have been open for 25 years and this was a completely different change that they had to um, manage through. Because we were already familiar with the company, we had been doing their accounting. We had the expertise to know what products they had, what services they were providing and pivoted away from those old products and services and 
build financial scenarios that were then presented to the board, which the board did approve. Um, second, we worked very hard applying for grants that were successfully funded, especially for a nonprofit. You know, um, if you've ever tried to get grants for nonprofits, it's not always the easiest thing. And third, we had an, an existing scheduling program for their seating in their concert halls and their theaters that was kind of tech poor. So we worked diligently on that software. We moved it online and it's now very sophisticated and was sent to their developers who are actually interested in using their product. So those are the three main things that we started with. And then um, once we were able to do a bare bones budget, we were like, okay, now what can we do? Um, we started moving items outside. And for example, we had a large parking lot that we created a drive-in theater. And the first movie was Grease and the tickets sold out within 12 hours. Wow. Yep. So that's, I love that. <laughs> yeah. So that was one of the, um, one of the, I mean, we were so excited about it that it was selling out so quick. And it's obviously we put more on the books and everyone's very interested in that. Um, we're doing more arts and education events surrounded with, um, you know, social distancing and stuff and able to see what else we can do. We're really excited about it. And we're projected to have a higher net gain than we did last year. Wow. So that's really talking about pivoting and yeah. helping, helping, you know, your client get out of, um, you know, the, the, the predicament they were in because yeah. here's, here's what it is. And now, uh, because you guys got involved, this is what happened. So what, what about, you know, a, a company that's not, you know, a small business entrepreneur, maybe mm -hmm. how can you, how can you help small business entrepreneurs, you know, somebody that's maybe not as big, but you know, how can you, help people like that? Yeah, I mean, there's uh, a lot of our clients aren't very small. Um, I have a lot of friends who have smaller businesses and, you know, I've helped them go through, you know, what are the pros and cons to shut down, um, to get um, funding or get unemployment or something. But for the most part, focusing on my clients, just mostly budgeting right now let's see what we can cut before we have to let any staff go yes and in the first couple months we weren't letting off any staff unfortunately there's been a few that we've had to mm -hmm. um but especially because we got the ppp funding we were required to keep the staff on site so that was our first thing was getting that funding in yeah um, second, just brainstorming with the client on what we can do. If there's changes in the way that you um, sell a product or maybe pivot the product, you know, you hear about Levi's jeans or changing to sweatpants now. And, you know, it's, it's, it's random what you can think of. Yeah. Um, if you actually are a producer producing something different. And then, um, we did like a, we have a client who rents cars out and we kind of did a pivot on some sales that we were going to make and really reduced our spending where we could. That's wonderful. So how do we, how do, how do people get in contact with you, Stephanie Cox and your uh, company? Please give yeah. us social media or no. just. Mm -hmm. It's rgalliance.com. Um, my email address is Stephanie just like yours yeah. at rgalliance.com. And then um, California Center for the Arts, who we talked about, just Google California Center for the Arts in Escondido. And I'm sure they would appreciate some donations. <laughs> Yeah, I love what you guys are doing. Thank you so much for saying yes and for calling in and coming on today because uh, what you guys are doing is definitely helping shift everything and making it all better for the small business uh, people to stay afloat during these uh, unpredictable times. Yeah. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for coming on. Thank and you so much. Thank you, everybody, for coming and listening to the show today. And we're getting ready to close this one out and going into right away our second program. Stay tuned for the one o'clock show. 
Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks, Thank everybody. You. Take care. You've been listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, Wake Up to Love, your call to action. Tune in each week on Transformation Talk Radio. Cornelia's joy is to engage others in practical ways, showing us how to live in the new earth in harmony with our true nature. For more information on Cornelia and her extraordinary work, or to listen to past shows, go to her website at corneliastephanie.com.